Believe it or not, it is conference tournament time already in Division III college basketball. And in the local circuit, plenty of the area teams in action tonight, including the Nichols men's basketball team. Now, the Bison find themselves in familiar territory, the number one seed in the CCC. So they have a chance to host all the way through in an attempt to win their conference tournament and move on to the postseason. It began tonight, Nichols taking on University of New England. First half, Bison with the lead. Jean-Luc Parker for UNE cuts the lead to three with a three. And Coach Potvin, Brandon Potvin's in the house. He's not impressed. Nichols responds. Marcos Echeverria, the deep three. Bison are up six. How do you score 1,000 points before the end of your sophomore year? You shoot like Echeverria. And that's exactly how he did it. Another three. The Bison are up nine. Nichols running now. Jerome Cunningham up with it. Terrell Williams following with the flush. Bison are up 11. Big crowd again. Nichols does it right in playoff basketball. Cunningham defense. 6'8 freshman. Jerome sending it back. Echeverria then. Feeding Cunningham. Again, three freshmen in that starting lineup. Bison up 11. Cunningham to one of those freshman phenoms. Echeverria is a sophomore. There's the three. He had 25 points. Tyler Dion on the local had 14. DeAndre Bruton had 25. Nichols wins. 89-71, they advance to the semis on Thursday. Worcester State, do you ever wonder what Andy Madison does before the 10 o'clock show? Here he is, working out for Worcester State. The Lancers all fired up in the Mascat quarterfinals. Lancers in MCLA, Catherine Sweeney muscling up third quarter. Tough two, she had 16 points, and the game was tied early in the third. Trailblazers, Courtney McLaughlin stepping into a triple, MCLA. Up one, Lancers, Britt Herring, 10 points, 10 rebounds for the former Quaybog star. Gave the locals the lead back. And then they're working the ball to another local. Bianca Lankford, the Holy Name alum, goes up for two. Worcester State's up three. MCLA's McLaughlin, hey, we came from North Adams. We're here to play. McLaughlin knocking down a triple. 22 points to lead all scores. The Trailblazers tough on the road tonight, MCLA. Knocks off Worcester State by a score of 64-54. But the Lancer was outstanding, dancing for the crowd. The Becker women, the number three seed in the NECC, hosting Newbury College tonight. Hawks up two first quarter. Kelsey Maynard for two. Puts Becker up by four. Then it's Becker's Katie Anderson. Long jumper. Hawks up four. Newbury's Destiny Spears. She led the Nighthawks. She goes up for two here. And they're hanging around. Sierra McKissick, former Shepherd Hill star, and a WACBA player of the week jumper from McKissick. The lead is six. McKissick at 15 points, 15 rebounds. The local doing big things. Second quarter, Newbury's Savannah Olson, the long jumper. Nighthawks up five. Becker, Casey, Kelsey Maynard, the runner. Hawks down three. Maynard had nine points, and they're chipping away. Marissa Turner, hoop and harm. Hawks retake the lead. Then it's the former Southbridge standout, Tanisha Espino, eight points off the bench tonight. Becker gets the win, 57-50. The Hawks advancing to the NECC semis. They're going to Elms on the road next. The Westboro tournament. This is Algonquin and Westboro. This is a consolation game. Well, it was one of the premier girls basketball tournaments in the land, Emily Burnison with a jumper for Westboro. And then it's Haley Brown knocking down a triple. The Rangers have a one point lead. Algonquin, Heather Chan runner. T-Hawks back up by one. Algonquin finding Rachel McMenemy under the hoop. T-Hawks maintaining that lead. Rangers shot then off the mark. Haley Brown gets her own board. Give the Rangers the lead back. Algonquin in the second quarter, Amanda Carroll. The hook shot, the lost art. T-Hawks up one. The Gonk looking for Carroll. Quick jumper. T-Hawks by three. Then it's Algonquin. Their shot just off the mark. McMenemy then crashing the glass like her older sister used to do. Final score in this one, Algonquin 47, Westboro 36. Another consolation game, Shepherd Hill taking on Franklin in the Westboro tournament. Third quarter, the Hills, Julia Dandridge with the basket. The Rams are up 18 at that point. That's Dandridge going to the hoop, and she's fouled. Three-point play. Rams up 21. Shepherd Hill, Morgan O'Malley now. 
from beyond the arc. Rams lead is 22. Franklin, Megan O'Connell putting one up and in. The Panthers battling, down 19. Fourth quarter, it's Shannon Gray for Franklin. Hitting the runner, it's a 14 point game. Shepard Hill then, shots just off the mark. Molly Springer the rebound and she is fouled on the putback. Springer can flat out play. Springer, hooping harm here. Rams are up 15. Shepherd Hill, Julia Dandridge and company getting the win. 45 to 31 in the Westboro Invitational. All right, we're back with the Clark Tournament on Thursday night. Live coverage begins of the large school semifinals. We have it for you beginning live at 6. And this will be fun. Westboro and the Shoba, Grot Nunsville, Bartlett, and that one. Then the small school semis Friday night live at 6 as well. And you will see Sutton Maynard featured in that contest, Hopedale and David Prouty as well. So four good matchups. Live coverage beginning at 6 both nights, Thursday and Friday. And then, of course, we have Championship Saturday covered for you as well from the Clark Tournament right here on Charter TV 3. The big schools and the small schools. A lot, a lot of action those two days. Yeah, a lot, a lot of action. And you know what? It's funny because... These schools and these, la these last eight teams that, that remain all have a legitimate shot of winning this Clark Tournament, and it means so much. Sutton's looking for another Clark Tournament win. Maynard's looking to get back on top. There's a lot uh, at stake. David Prouty's looking to cement a new legacy for their program in their division, so it's going to be fun. And then going back to Nichols, you said that they've got a, they've got a shooter who's scored, what, a, close to 1,000 points already? At Marcus Echeverria has scored more than 1,000 points already. He has not yet completed his sophomore year. Oh, wow. It's, he's, a, he's an incredible player, and he's a national, has been a national D3 player of the week, uh, recognized for Nichols College. He is, he can shoot from anywhere in the gym. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, he's a good player. A lot of basketball action, right? Yeah. Andy Lacombe, thanks a lot. Yeah. The Lancer dancing, too. That was yeah, the Lancer good. looked good. That's where yeah. Kevin Shea is. He's on vacation. That yeah, exactly. I haven't, I haven't seen Kevin around that here, so you him. never know. Yeah. Some people get a dinner break. He takes a Lancer dance break, I guess. There you go. So, that'll do it for us tonight for Worcester News Tonight for Andy Lacombe, Andy Madison. Thank you very much for watching us tonight at 10. We hope you'll tune in again tomorrow at 6.